What's up Sienna Racers? Today we're doing a compression test on the good old Power Stroke Diesel 7.3 excursion. I'm just gonna start here by taking off the charge pipes on both sides and the air box. What, is, what does that use on there, Drew? What, it's a 7 16th or 11 mil. So it's an 11 mil to take off the couplers for the charge pipes. And that's the first set. Oh wait, I, I think I took that off last time just to make it all the way out of my way. Yeah, that's what I did. I know I did that. Uh, you gotta take this off so uh, get the wires out of the way. That vacuum tube right there. Pretty sure it's the map sensor. Very important. Controls your fueling and boost. If you don't have that. You don't go anywhere. Best, best diesel engine of all time, huh? That's what they say. 7.3. Now that that's loose, give this thing a bit. Off the bottom, and now this part's out. Right over there. Don't need that anymore. No more boost. So now you have access to this valve cover. As you can see, you have lots of unrestricted access to everything you need. That's a lie. It's all restricted. These tubes, these coolant tubes, they get in the way. They kind of flop around. Probably gonna break eventually. Let's just go over there. Get in the way. You know, some oil in your uh, charge pipes is normal. It's a little bit. Well, that thing sounds pretty good. You got a 392 startup in the background. Yeah, this thing, I broke that last time, so it doesn't actually clamp on anymore. It just kind of sits there. Holds these hoses. Alright, let's get the driver's side charge pipe off. Guess we're taking off the intake in the way. You don't want that there. What is it? It's just a Phillips head? No. Flat head? Flat head. Flat the head. AFE Magnum Force intake. Get that out of there. You don't need that anymore. Go take that. Looks clean. Definitely no dirt or anything in there. Yep. Well. Huh. It's always good when you look in your intake and there's lots of dirt. So why are we doing the compression test? It's not good, what the heck? That was not there last time I did this. Excuse me. That's like mud. 7.3's run on anything though. It doesn't matter. Including mud. Yeah, they love it. Dirt, rocks. Mexicans don't either. You gotta take this little, two little thingies off the bracket. So you can get the bracket out. What do they do? Guest appearance. Yeah, they haven't been on the channel yet. I'll be here someday though. <laughs> this is so far showing me I need a new engine. So, that was not there last time, and ever since then, it's been uh, not uh, exactly accelerating the way. He Is that where you're putting that bolt? Yeah, there. Up there on this. the windshield. Yeah, exactly. Uh, can you hand me something useful? Like, like what? Screwdriver. Screwdriver. Uh, flathead. Smells like diesel fuel in here. 
You can smell that, and that means your engine's working the right way it's supposed to. Come on, buddy. There's the turbo. Dude, that's so not good. Let me show the sea racers. What we're looking at here. It's mud. Interesting. It's just oil build up. So what's the next step? Let's see if this thing has any. Ow! There's a... The turbo's hot. Don't touch it. Beauty. Your G GTP 38. Dude, it's inhaled some stuff. The blades aren't supposed to look like they're sandblasted. <laughs> Oops. Maybe all the boosted launches finally got to the the good old Garrett. I'm really interested in what this compression test is gonna uh, tell us here. Yep, that's why we're doing it. So the next step is taking off this uh, driver's side charge pipe. Another third, is it 13? So 11, 11, 11 mil on all the charge pipes. There's a lake in the engine valley. That's good. It is. It means it's working the way it's supposed to. Maybe loosen the clamp more? Or is it already loose? I did this last time too. Now it's out. It's about to be. Mm, well, that, that was uh, that, interesting. That over there, you don't need that anymore. So now that the charge pipes are off and the intake's off, it's the next step. Ugh. Gotta get the valve covers off. Let's connect it right here. Gotta disconnect it somehow. I did this before. Don't know how I did it. I think it yeah, involves some type of board magic. You gotta take that bolt out there to get it apart, but. Or you can just be retarded and leave it there, which is what we're gonna do. <laughs> Alright, 13 mil, let's get these. Alright, so once you've done all that, the next step is going to be taking off the valve cover bolts. And there's 10 of them on each side in their 13 milliliter socket. And I'll tell you what, the passenger side is way harder, that's why we're not doing it first. That's why we're starting on the driver's side. Yeah, we're not. Yeah. So we just finished the driver's side, getting the valve cover and the glow plugs off. And we're just doing the same thing on this side. This side's a real tight fit. Valve cover after the 10 bolts are off just lifts straight up. 
And the glow plugs That's are right under there. Well, you gotta straight. finagle it around all these hoses and shit. But it lifts straight off. Can you give me a big wrench? I can just take this thing out of there. Yeah. Alright, so first all you gotta do is just disconnect the wire that goes to the glow plug you're trying to pull. You should just be able to kind of pull it out. You know, move it out of your way a little bit. And then uh, you're gonna need a uh, pretty thin 10 millimeter socket. Like uh, this one right here. You're gonna wanna go in there and pop this guy loose. And then we're gonna use a uh, piece of tubing actually to pull it out of the cylinder. It's okay if it makes bad noises, it's probably still gonna be okay. I wouldn't worry too much about it. And then where's my tube? Yeah, so then uh, this quality tube right here yeah, we're definitely getting a great angle of everything going on. It's my tube. Just pop that on top of the glow plug. Plugs me like that, and then uh, spin the tube and spin the glow plug right out of there. I wish my fingers were this sweaty. So after you get all your glow plugs out, uh, you're gonna wanna take apart your compression tester. We're using the Mighty Vac MV5535 diesel compression test kit. And you gotta select the right adapter for your motor in this case. It'd be cool if it went in though. It's for a 7.3 power stroke. And you're going to screw it in the holes that the glow plugs came out of. Um, and then also remember to take this plug out so your engine doesn't turn on while you're doing this. And we'll be back. So we just tested cylinder one and it read 333 PSI. And now we're testing cylinder two. Yep. Okay, that one was a high of 295, 296.5. She might be hurt. All right, let's try the next one. So now we're on cylinder three here. That one's better, 349.5. That's the highest yet. Yeah. Huh. Seeing cylinder number four now. Three forty. It's okay. Yeah, it's not too bad. Just in cylinder five. Three thirty four. Three three forty point five. It's not bad. Three forty four. Under eight. Wow, that one's the highest yet, 358. 358? Yeah, it's the power making cylinder. <laughs>